hand over my heart and my mind into your hands. May the word of God have a way into my heart. And may the word of God humble my heart to break every spirit of pride so that I could benefit before I de left this place in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Friends, we want to look at Bible study too. Take your leaflet and wave at Tomimi Asi. So man don't he be old. But before you come on, I had this Bible study, Mickey always keep me on. Most times I can take, I even use them as study material or material for reflect on. Now we look at Bible study two. And the topic, the danger of worldliness and enmity with God. The danger of worldliness and enmity with God. The danger of worldliness and enmity with God. What in our worldliness? Are you listening? Ask your neighbor, say, what in our worldliness? Worldliness now concerned with material values or ordinary life rather than spiritual existence. Worldliness now concerned with material values or ordinary life without spiritual existence. For even so, some of we can, they can still learn at this atmosphere. We much more concerned with things of the world, with things of the flesh. Some man can at this atmosphere a common eye without benefiting from the spiritual blessings that are in this atmosphere. But I pray that not will be your portion in the name of Jesus. A worldly person does not pay attention to the nourishment and development and value of his or her soul. Anybody who is worldly is not too concerned about his soul. Not just the flesh. Me, I want eat. Me, I want wear fine clothes. Me, I want travel. Me, I want money. It is not bad. For many you think so. But when they say you are worldly, it means you solely they think about that. You know they think about your soul. You know they think about your eternity. You only they think. And you most time they think about the things of the earth. Now that they call worldliness. And now that worldly person they think. He only pay attention to the nourishment, to the development of in physical body. He does not know that his soul or his spirit is more important than his physical body. And God said, this kind of person is an enemy to him. God said, this kind of person is an enemy to him. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Because a worldly person can do anything, anything to nourish or to improve or to add value onto his body. A worldly person can do anything whatsoever to improve. A worldly person can do anything whatsoever for improve. 
for add value to his body, but he not able to do anything for improve, for add value to his soul. May I ask you one question? Have you ever been to Bible school? First in way worldly, not they think of Bible school. <laughs> but if they think of spending number of years for acquire education, for acquire skill. The Bible did not say that is bad. Oh. But the Bible said, do not pay more attention to this at the expense of improving your soul or developing your soul. Now that they call worldliness. When you pay more attention. In fact, now that they call carnality. Meaning you're too physical. A worldly person can ignore or reject the word of God just to bluff, to get material things, to get power. He can do that. He can do anything for in flesh. These Christian friends will put such a person, a worldly person, into danger of being counted or being considered as a goat, goat on the last day. You remember yesterday the Bible study? The man of God said, on the last day, on the day of judgment, God is going to separate the goat from the God is going to separate the goat from the which of these do you want to be? Goat or sheep? Goat or sheep? Sheep, God bless you. On the last day, God will separate the goat from the sheep. And if you become worldly, it will put you in danger of being a goat. You remember, let me quickly tell you, tell you God, they use the animal there for personify the character that he loves or he does not love. How God liking Jesus Christ? Lamb. How God liking Jesus Christ? How God liking Jesus Christ? Lamb is humble. How God liking Holy Ghost? Dove. Dove is meek. How God liking Satan the devil? Serpent, snake. Just look at the character of snake. It the bite. It corny. So now, God liking a worldly man to a ghost. Goat. You shall be goat. Goat is rebellious. Is goat rebellious or not? Can you easily control a goat? But you can easily control the sheep. So a worldly person is liking to be to a goat on the last day. A goat spirit is rebellious spirit. A spirit that does not want to be controlled. A spirit that hates the word of God. When the word of God says, thou shalt not do this, in the end of or do the wrong thing. This is even the reason when which man one for destroy you pekin. Sometimes it they turn into a ghost. Goat. They say that pekin in spirit people are goat. It means in spirit not they take control. It get rebellious spirit. If you see which man they turn you pekin into a goat, you go you go poor education for now. You go poor money for now. A rebellious. Which is that they do that? Praise the living God. It is a sinful spirit. It cannot go to heaven. It is the spirit of Satan that controls the world. And we, were, we once heard that that spirit is a dangerous spirit. That is a worldly man, a worldly person is like in that way. You know, we don't understand, say, God's love and God's sacrifice. Has God made any sacrifice for us? How did God 
God made sacrifice for us. On the, on the cross of Calvary. How did God make a sacrifice for us? On the cross of Calvary. God sent Jesus, who had no sin, and died for us, who have sin. And our sin demand judgment. Our sin demand punishment. So Jesus Christ took that punishment and that judgment upon him on the stick. So a great exchange took place yesterday, Good Friday, on the cross of Calvary. Jesus now take the punishment for us, so we take in righteousness, said that when we come in the presence of God, that's why we can say we are saved. When we come in the presence of God, God does not look at our sin. God looks at the blood of Jesus upon us that has washed us, that has made us very clean. And God now says, indeed, these are my sons and my daughters. That is what Jesus did. He took our infirmity, he took our sickness and the pain. He took our iniquity and then he gave us his holiness and his righteousness. That's a sacrifice. So God showed that sacrifice as a sign of love. And that means we forbid in intimate relationship with God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, by cause of this sacrifice, we forbid in intimate relationship with God. And this relationship is not like boss, you and you boss in an office. When they see you boss, you they dream, you they miri miri, hey, me boss, they come. Where boss, they see you, they cut. Answer, come here, go by under. That's not a kind of relationship. This relationship is like husband and, husband and, husband and, how does husband and wife relationship looks like? Hmm? How does husband and wife's relationship look like? Husband and wife relationship, they share mutual bond. Mutual bond. They get closeness. Closeness. Tell your neighbor, say, how close are you with God? The fact of your existence, of your presence here, they partially demonstrate, say, you are close to God. Because the one that they're not close to God, who side them they? Na beach. Who side them they? Na pubs. Who side them they? Na bondobush. Who side them they? But you have decided that you will discomfort yourself. You go left your comfort zone for Kaya. It partially demonstrate, say, you are closer to God. Na him make not lost the blessing that follows that closeness. Put your hands together for the Lord. Husband and wife, they share everything in common. They care for each other. They are loyal to each other. They stand for each other in every situation. That is a healthy relationship. Husband and wife, they share with each other. Have you been sharing with God? Has God been sharing with you? God has shared with you, not so. Have you been sharing with God? Yes. When you decided to obey the word of God that you should be holy, you have shared with him. When you decided to give your tithe, to give your offerings, you have shared with him. Because that is what he wants you to do. When you decide to obey, praise the living God. So that means you and God must be in intimate relationship. Turn to your neighbor and tell her. Say, are they in lovely relationship with God? Tell her. Tell her with a smile. Say, no come between we. No come between me and God. Oh. We are in lovely relationship. Like husbands and wives. Tell her, say, God cares for me. You know, see why don't heal me? You know, see why don't deliver me? You know, see why don't give me testimony? Because he cares. 
And by also demonstrating to continue to obey God, they show your own part of care. Praise the living God. That you self care. Because God, they feel bad if you not care for us. We will discover that in the scripture. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Christian friends. When you are worldly, you are not careful about your spiritual life. And you are not at all careful about our relationship with God if you are worldly. You are not. And I pray you that you will be much more careful with your relationship with God than with your relationship with the world in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells we, in fact, in James chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Ye adulterers, ye adulterers, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Eh? Do you see that? When you become a friend of the world, what becomes of you? You become an enemy of? Of? Of God. God, they feel bad. God, they call we, he say, adulterers. We don't know adulterers. Now, possibly where they left in wife, he go keep another woman. Now, possibly where they left in, woman, in husband, he go keep another. Now, in Bible, they call adulterer. So, whenever you do that with God, you don't carry a yam. You are now wedded to God by the power in the word of God. You are now husband and wife. Then you come out. You go to the world. You go to Meresi man. You go to Juju man. You come out. You they dress the way your husband know how may you dress. You come out. You they go eat the kind of food where your husband know how may you eat. Bible call you Adol. I want to know if you are listening. Bible call you Adol. Praise the living God. Hey, neighbor, say me. I know they commit adultery again. After this program, I will be committed to my husband. And who is your husband? Who is your wife? Shout his name. Shout his name. Yes, we should be committed. The man or woman, where they dedicate in life, so the world is an enemy of God, meaning it don't left her. This is a very grievous thing. God used one prophet for make the prophet feel how in God they feel. That prophet is called Jose. Go and read the book of Jose. God tell Jose, Jose, you know, really don't know. You're not a man of God, but you don't know how are they feel. So for me, you know how are they feel, Jose, as a prophet. Go married prostitute. God tell a whole prophet, the prophet go marry prostitute. He can't even begin there with the prostitute. Where he won't begin there with the prostitute? Then the prostitute left the man of God. Then he go back to the world. Then the, pro the prophet feel, ah, why make me woman where God don't give me, I don't want to with her. Why make it don't go back, it don't left me. It don't go to another man. Then God now tell and say, that same kind thing so that woman do, now, so una mota man, they do me. Go read the book of Jose. So God made it, it very painful as a child of God for left God for, for the world. Praise the living God. Amen. The purpose and pursuit of holiness is the opposite of holiness and heavenly mindedness. As with Daddy preached on this morning. Holiness and heavenly mindedness. For be heavily minded is completely an opposite of worldliness. Praise the living God. Now, he made God say a very dangerous for someone to be worldly. Now, a dangerous thing for a man to be worldly. A worldly man. If they wear nose rings, if they wear trousers 
Et de quoi tu as dit Et qui n'est pas en train de Even when the Bible says it's wrong, and they do that. And the Bible says that is very, very, very dangerous. That is not good. It's not good for you. It's not good for your eternity. It's not good for you in this present world. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Let me quickly look at the danger of worldliness. The danger of holiness itself, now like you they see him by the alarm bell in James chapter 4, verse 4. God say, anybody who is worldly, now your enemy. Tell your neighbor three times. Say, God say, anybody who is worldly, who is like this dunya, pass them. Pass the word of God. Where they reject the word of God for material things. He said, "Now enemy, pray for us. Say, do ya? I know I may God become your enemy. Nobody know he pull you now God in hand. Pray for us. Say, do ya? I beg. Praise the living God. So that now a very strong language where God you see say we na an enemy, a, a liking we to be like Pharaoh." Nebuchadnezzar, these were men in the world of God, the heart ranger. They became enemy of God. In likely way to be Judas Iscariot. Who that one born Piki called and Judas Iscariot? If you did, they wave your hand. Do we have people that want Judas Iscariot name? No. Those are enemies of God. Even their name is an abomination. Even unto us. We know one for men who. That name be called, they call me by that name. So God liking we to be like men like Judas is. Judas is. What about Pharaoh? Do we still have that name Pharaoh existing? Except they go put up a football club, but people they all in Egypt don't reject that name. You don't ever see him? Except in the Bible. God liking us to be like men like Pharaoh. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So that's an enemy. Anyone where they reject the message of God, anyone where they reject holiness, and all those religious groups, whether they encourage their members for reject holiness, for reject the message of God, they are playing with fire. They are in danger of being an enemy of God. Anybody where they associate itself with worldliness, they are in danger of being an enemy of God. Praise the living God. Now let us look at the picture of the world in its true color. The picture of the world in its true color. But before I show you the picture of the world in its true color, I want to tell you, say, now gross ignorance can they on we your part if we focus too much on our physical life without paying attention to the spirit world. Hey, see, hey, see. Hey, let me tell you something. I want to tell you something. You blanche it inside the scripture, but you don't know why God writes us. It's very important. Touch this with flesh. Say this. Say this. This way God make. Inside the Bible, God not ever talk to this me flesh to prosper and to have dominion and to replenish the earth. You think say that inside the Bible? Where God say, be fruitful, prosper, have dominion, replenish the world. Now to this flesh he talk, huh? you know, ever talk unto the flesh. The one where we they neglect, now to run, God make that pronouncement. Let us look at it in Genesis chapter 1. So that by the time we they go, you they appreciate why make the Bible say it is very dangerous for pay attention to your flesh. 
Lord, look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Can you go with me to Genesis chapter 1, verse 27? I have it with me. But shall we read together? So God created man. You don't see? Pause. Understand one concept here. God created man. Three words. Not so. To create means to make something out of out of nothing. To create means so what? Make something out of nothing. For example, God created the world. He made the world out of nothing. God created man, something, man, out of nothing. So when he created man, what happened? In his own image, so God created man, Lekam. Man for Fiba God. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Verse 28 now say, And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish, over the sea, over the, over the fowls of the air and over everything that moveth upon the earth. You see, this is your soul that God made. And you sold that God made. You know it's here. You don't see your soul? Touch your soul back. Or touch somebody so near you. Say, I don't catch your soul. Touch that. Say, I don't catch your soul. You know it's here. Now, only when you dream, you they see you. When you dream, that thing where you they see the worker. Now, you what thing? Now, you they see snake, they run after. Now, you they see babu, they run after. Now, you know your soul. So tell your neighbor, say you soul, you spirit. Now God bless ya. Not to your physical body. Now, He did not bless the outer man. God not bless the outer man. The one we concentrate on, the flesh, the worldly man. Instead, God bless your spirit man or your soul. Let us see Genesis chapter 2. Go with me to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, and see if God ever blessed the one who they run after. That they will run that cream pan. Would they even reject the word of God? Would they go rub uh, that in their man hair? Would they wear them? Would they lipstick all? Now that's what God not ever bless them. Tell your neighbor, say, no waste your temper and this kind of. Tell them back, tell them. Say, no waste your temper now. Tell them, say, no waste your temper now. No allow I drag your soul to hell. Lord, read Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Number two, number one thing you bought for land. Yada, the Bible says God created man. What did God say over there? God created man. Make man out of nothing. Here now, the Bible says, and the Lord God formed man. Man meaning he make man out of, out of, Dust out of something, he formed man. Meaning things have been in existence already in the world, and that is why God took dust to form man. Here, okay, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living. So God now put that soul where he made, he put that inside man, and then man become that dust. Where you they walk with? That dust where you they block with? Where you they wear that gym pack spa? Where you they wear that high heel pack? That dust where God don't put His soul inside. The Bible says that dust now became a living soul. So it means you soul na inky life to you. You soul na inky life to you what? If you soul depart, what did they happen to your flesh? So now may I ask you a question? By implication, you know say yesterday last night, Daddy tell we say. We yai. Now who die yai? We mort. Now die mort. So you've been wonder how it happened. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. You already for FIBA God. You for FIBA Jesus. So when you get a counter with Jesus, Jesus now take over that which is in you already. So do you understand? Hello? Hello? That means 
you physical body where you they nourish, it go only better when you soul don't better. Tell your neighbor, say this physical body. It they only better when you soul don't better. Nine the Bible writes in Third John two. It says, "I wish above all things that you may, even as thy soul." Why may God say, "Even as thy soul prosper"? That is how your physical body prosper. So you they only prosper as far as your soul prosper. So that physical body where they nourish so that's no better thing they happen to her until something good happen to your soul. No wonder I can say safely by implication of this statement that if you seek physically, it means you soul self seek. If you get sore foot, meaning your soul get sore foot. Not to me talk about he say you may prosper even as thy soul. So if you paralyze physically, what will happen with your soul? Your soul what thing? <laughs> Do you get that? If you get boil, now your forehead, meaning your soul get what thing? Boil now your forehead. So when you come at church, you get a encounter with Jesus Christ, your soul get healed, then the boil disappear. Do you get that? Put your hands together for the Lord. Now may God say it is dangerous to be a friendship with the world because the world does not pay. The world they drag you into danger. Now Lord, look at some of these danger, dangerous things. As I don't know, come. The danger of worldliness. And now look at the picture of this world inside Mark chapter 4. Go with me to Mark chapter 4. And the cares of this world. The cares of next world or this world. Next world or this world. The cares of this world. And the deceitfulness of riches. And the loss of other things. Entering in. Choke the world. And it becometh unfruitful. Like how we don't carry again this word of God too. We don't know what they make this word of God will not they benefit from us. Eh? The chaos, where will they go? The deceitfulness. We self one get jeep, where other one they get. Now, 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 now. We want travel, where other one they travel. Now, 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 now. We self one for feel high, we want forget pleasure. No, 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 no. We forget say God did not deprive you. God not say you know for enjoy these things. But there is a process. And God, because he let you it expose you to the truth. When your soul prosper, now you enjoy those things that other people are running after. Now I make it say, seek ye first the kingdom of and all his. And the things the people of the world are running after. All of them will be. Tell your neighbor, say, I know they run after money. Now money now blessing God they give me. Tell him, tell him, tell him. He say, all of these things shall be added. Now bless God. Now, now give God the Praise the living God. Do we get that clearly? Amen. Knowing well that the word, this word, what do I get? This message, what do I get? Why alone, self, what do I get? This morning, which you and I, they disallow, with the rejecter, the word message of holiness, the message of righteousness and purity, with the rejecter, with the allow we self. For many things of the world choke her out, choke their world out of your life. It will put us in danger. It will expose we to trouble. It will expose we inner man, we spirit man, we soul to the world. And the spirit, remember, the word of God is choked now in life by what? By the cares of the world. Do you know the power of the word of God in your life, in my life? The Bible says the word of God is what? Spirit. The word of God is what? In Galatians chapter uh, uh, 5, verse 22. What did the Bible say of the spirit? 
He said we get nine fruit of the holy. What are they? Love, joy, peace, gentleness, faithfulness. Another word for faithfulness now integrity, humility. So tell me, may I ask you one question? Why you want multiple houses? Not to forget joy. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 2, the fruit of the Holy Spirit is joy, peace. Why you are married? Joy, peace. What did the Bible say in Galatians chapter 2 verse 5? The fruit of the Holy Spirit is joy and peace. Are you getting it? So if you want joy, peace, gentleness, quietness, you go in for the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And how do you get the holy fruit of the Holy Spirit according to this scripture? The word of God, don't allow it, don't push it out of your life. Because that word is a spirit, it bears fruit. And if you also go, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, from verse 5 now to come, we also get nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, like how daddy can in Tinapia, and they pray, miracle, they take place, and they command this, they call that person's name, Ansumana, Ami, the Ansumana, come out. They come out, hey, 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 they God bless this man of God. It is the gift of the Holy Spirit. So if you don't reject the word of God, you two can get that gift. Do you understand that? Put your hands together for the Lord. Bible says the cares of this world make us forfeit the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the gift of the Holy Spirit and that is dangerous. When that happens, you don't have gift of the Holy Spirit, you don't have fruit of the Holy Spirit, it's not possible that you go actually get the happiness and joy when you look for. No matter how caustic you go dress. In 1 John chapter 2 verse 16 says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. Lust means strong desire, strong urge to satisfy the flesh, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Remember, the Father is a spirit in whose image you were made. Praise the living God. Amen. The Father is a spirit in whose image you were made, and you are supposed to resemble him. The Bible now says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, it says the cares of this world, the lost thereof, they are all not of the Father. That means you're not going to be having for do with your spirit. Now may God say a hater, a not fee by God. Praise the living God. That is why God said in verse 15, if you go back to verse 15 of First John chapter 2, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Some of these things that are in the world are carelessness, careless dressing, drunkenness, sexual immorality, secret society, poro, pambani, wonde, waje, juju. These are the things of the world. The Bible says, Love not the things of the world. If any man love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Hey, neighbor, say if you go again, you go join Bodo, meaning you don't let God. Tell us. Say that mommy where she don't hear you. Some of them are me that they hear the word of God. Where they go, they go join Bodo. Tell us. Tell that mommy where they hear you. Shake a man on sleep. Say if you go join Bodo, you you not let God, yeah. Tell that young man, say, if you go join Waje, the Bible say you don't let God. And that is very dangerous if you don't let God. Because verse 17, verse 17 of 1 John chapter 2, now say, verse 17, now say, it said the world passeth away, and they lost thereof. But he that doeth the will of God Abided forever. Tell me. 
heresy man where they intimidate you in a community you know don't die then they will make no boy you they pray and pass the word of god eh you don't don't die the word pass it away nothing on the earth even this building they for pass away but they that keep the word of god they abide forever tell your neighbor say me i'm going to live forever say where possible jesus get for meet me na ya say say it with confidence it's possible only say i get for live forever say satan where they lead with me net now where you don't know me me i live forever you you not get repentance na hell fire you get for it put your hands together Second Peter chapter 2 verse 20 says For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world <laughs> through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning Now I tell you this is a dangerous scripture Did you see that in your Bible The Bible say after you don't come you don't escape from the world. Have you escaped from the world? You don't escape from the world. How do you know that you have escaped from the world? You love Jesus. You have accepted Jesus. You have accepted the word of truth. Hey, the way that he been a preach. Me I tell you one litmus test for know if you let God. The way that he been a preach. If you know accept you know accept God yet you had the job in the beat the rejecter now i make so some man and oh say they reject that in voice over radio meaning they have not escaped they reject the word of god it hurts you but because you now have the holy spirit in you where did they preach the word of god they sing it they enjoy where can they was of mind face it enjoy now so they know the head they enjoy that is how we know that you have escaped from the world tell neighbor say you don't escape yeah Tell I say you don't escape oh. So excuse me if you have escaped can you go there again Now look when you go there look at what God said He said They have escaped the pollution of the world Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ They are again entangled in it and become it and overcome The latter end is more worse than the beginning So if you go back na the world, who say you don't escape, then you go there back. The Bible say you latter end, it go worse than the So if you begin one boy na your forehead, where you can then God deliver you, you get one boy na your forehead, then you go back. How many boy they come there? Two or three. Twenty. <laughs> if you begin one demon, then, then you can't hire, then God drive him. Then you go back na the world, you go join there. How many demons they can inside you? The Bible is say eight inside Matthew chapter 12 verse 43 and 44. It said the devil they go take seven more demons where the wicked pattern so that you last and go worse than the So man if you where they where they, they preach about holiness, he still get no ring na na nose. You know even the prayer God say when me I go pull this nose ring they don't talk about that. He see don before Jesus Christ Jesus they see that nose ring. Watch and say I hope say you you don't pull out. No string. A catch and day. Or some man catch I say where I come on I have from Mambu this in altar they go where and back. Some man where they come on I they go where trusses. Now that the Bible they say where you go where the trusses the trouble they come back not to me not to we right and they oh now inside the Bible they day and they inside you leaflet. Therefore. Allow me for advice you Christian friends. That them preaching the Yahweh they hear, them prayer the Yahweh they hear. After ya, yeah, no go there again. Tell you never say no go there again. Say me hardship no allow you for go there. This side way hard for come out. Now tap to me. Tell you never. Say I give I pray for you. May God give you grace. For may you come out tap to me. 
Hey, man said they go tap to me this day, so this particular generation, man said they go tap to me. Yes. The Bible says, your latter here on earth will be worse than your former. If you brought as a talker, and in eternity, if you come and then God will save you and sanctify you, and you go back in eternity, your soul will be separated from God. You will find yourself in hellfire. Now, I may God, the one who say it is very dangerous to be worldly. Verse 21 of 2 Peter chapter 2 now say, Verse 21 of 2 Peter chapter 2 now say, He said, For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after knowing it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. You see now what the Bible continues for say, It said, Better you not know, ever can a church. But you can a church. You don't carry read this word. Then you go back. The Bible says, Very dangerous. It better you know for don't know. So verse 22 say. But it happened unto them according to the two proverb: the dog is returned to his own vomit. Tell your neighbors, say, no, go back to that vomit hole, don't vomit hole. Say, me, I know you go there again. Say, I don't vomit. I know you go there again. You go like it to that. Dog, now they vomit. They go lick in vomit. God say, if you come on your back, you go, na, you go commit sin. You not like a dog. Where you be, don't vomit. Then you go lick you vomit back. And since you're not a dog, and I know say you're not a dog, you not go go there again. Me self not go go there again. Then put your hands together for the Lord that has done this for us. Now make Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 says, of such a person that the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, whose, the, who, whose image of God should shine unto them. You see? Then kind people that whether they go lick their vomit, we're not to me and you too. The Bible says, the God of this world don't blind their mind. They can see, see so, they don't say a wrong, then they, they go do one, so that they, they become poor, so that Satan go Catch the soul. Now you make you they see a granny in a salon and at the whole world. Somebody don't also. It don't pass 70 years. It don't pass 80 years. Then they tell and say, you know, mama, granny, trust is not fine for where. It is still go where trust is. Satan don't blind in mind. So that even where in body don't hold, in soul, Satan still want her. Do you get that? You they see grandpa, it does 60 years, 70 years. It they go keep small, small picking. It they call her. Pequito. How they call her? They call her Pequito. Satan don't blind in the eye. So that Satan go capture his soul for drag and a hell. Satan one day no one go hell. He won't drag people then a hell. Shake yourself. Say Satan left me, but I know go with you. Shake yourself. Shake yourself. Shake yourself. Say Satan left me. I know God for go with you. You know get grace for repent. Me are the under grace and they repent. And the Bible likened the kind of people to the Amas who forsook God, cried God. For the, and the Amas forsake me. I saw God in the cry. The Amas don't leave me. He don't go back to Thessalonians. He don't follow the dunya. Anybody will come on here, you go back. God will cry after you, they will cry after Diana. And Fatma don't leave me. And so don't let me. Do you know God can weep? Because God loves your soul, He can weep. For all they don't water ramp. They don't get in the water of God. You don't, don't go like the Amas. John don't go. Look at the girl Napora Bush again. Oh, look, John don't go join black man and white man at college. John don't go in spiritual meal. Salema to don't go bono. God they cry after you like diamas. Tell your neighbor. Say, deliver me. I don't want to go back. Many people.
people they don't make mistakes. Some people they for ordinary yeri, ordinary yeri, God they cry against them. Hey, look, I don't go where they yeri again. Just because in Padi go tell and say, go now now they make like holiness. Then if I like Padi, then like diamonds. <laughs> Tomorrow, if we come here at five, uh, uh, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, you go now turn, you know, go go now beach for go drink. So man of grill, you go go work on a beach for go drink, eh? If you do that, and they go, they cry after you, eh? Hey, but Mambu, there you begin there, they don't go again. Look, they don't go on a beach. Look, there they drink. Mambu, like diamonds. I pray that will not be our portion. It will not be my own portion. Can you shout louder for me? It will not be my portion. A bigger louder for you. It will not be your portion. Hey. I'm going to no, no, give bonnets to God. Naime Philippians chapter 3 verse 18 to 19 say, For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Jesus. You see where I tell you, say, Jesus, God, they cry. He said, if they don't they tell you, they don't they use pastor for teach you. No, if they even teach you weeping, May you not be an enemy of the cross. Bow down your head and pray this prayer. Say, Lord, help me. I don't want to be an enemy of the cross. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer to yourself. And wake somebody by you. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 3, verse 19, it says, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame. Some man, even when they don't preach, when you see some of them cheer, they empty. The picking, they don't care, go they cheer. Oh. They, don't, don't, they don't come on, they cheer, and they believe that they walk up. Look, they all that. When you come on, you cross that gate, they see that they, they chop. They say, whose God is their what? <laughs> belly. This belly, and they look how the chair empty. They don't come on. They never take spiritual things in four times. They're not valiant. Me, where I can come at church, where you see I sit on at that corner yonder. I they, ah, I know you come out there. Now I make something, I they wet all. So then they, I they fast for me, I not come out. <laughs> so look there, they don't left, they don't go. They say, whose God is there? I pray God will deliver us in Jesus' name. Where Deuteronomy 25, verse 5, the, we, we did it, preacher. Woman of a wear man clothes. So man get mine because he won't wear trusses. It said that in the Old Testament. It is a New Testament. Look at inside 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. The Bible says effeminate, he called it effeminate, E-F-F-E-M-I-N-A-T-E, -E, effeminate. Nobody, anybody including gay, lesbian, any woman where they dress like man, any man where they plant in head like woman, if they bust in head, if they pull in head, they will never go to heaven. Effeminate, go read First uh, 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 Corinthians 6, 9. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Are you learning anything? Then put your hands together for the Lord. Now we look on we leaflet, the dressing of the worldly. Now make the material things, those who disobey the word of God for material things, the Bible says they are proud people. Now, only possible way proud, they obey the word of God. But since you know proud, you go obey. Now, I make Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18 say, Pride goeth before destruction, and haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goeth before destruction, and haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10 to 12. 
Read with me Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10 to 12. Are we there? Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10 say, It says, And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtlety of the heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the street, and lieth in wait at the corner. Any proud person, you know, I take instruction. Now, the way they say, short skirt, no fine. Then they see them come to the, they wear the short skirt. They say they go wear her because they admire her. Now, proud people, now, covetous people. You know that you come to where they wear that short skirt. You know if now witch. Because the witches, they know, say, if you eat, eh, may I tell you something? Very interesting thing. The witches, the demons, they know, say, where man see woman, this in Gado, Naya. Where man see woman, this in Baku. The man, they turn to to tell the what? Now, the lie, man. Not true. Where man see woman, this in breast. You see, they, and they turn to to tell the what? So set her no, now he make it a kakam. It they use the witch man there for kakam. It they use the witch man there for wear short skirt. So for destroy not only you, but the one that whether they watch you. So tell your neighbor now, say, since you're not a witch man, why you for go dress the witch man? Tell her that. Tell her that. Say you're not a witch man. Say if you're not a witch man, why should you dress like a witch? The Bible called a harlot. Are you not a rare girl? Then you go dress like a rare girl. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. God now warn we. That we should abstain from all appearance of evil. Tell your neighbor, say anything when an evil thing, run away from them. Abstain from all appearance of evil. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5, 6, and then 13 and 16. I'll read First Corinthians 11, verse 5. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. But every woman that prayeth, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. Hallelujah. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonor her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. So not ever see somebody they even sing in a church in wear trusses and not cover a head. Then you they cry. You think say that person don't bring honor to God. The person according to the Bible dishonor. Because some of we they follow the musicians, the way that they dress, and then they sing. Some man they sing, that they even sing. If you not see there, when you hear their voice, you they weep, two of us. That bring dishonor. Praise the living God. Finally, Christian friends, this is not the reason why God said we should be delivered from the evil of the world. Galatians chapter 1 verse 4. Gave, remind me, the Redeemer gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world yesterday. That's why Jesus Christ came. He delivered to deliver ourselves from this present world. The Christian is in the world, but not of it. Salvation where God brings is to transform our heart and to convert our lives. When Christ comes into our heart, God's power saves us from all the sins 
all things, the Bible says, all things have passed away. And behold, we have become a new creation. From there on, our desire and the desire of our heart or a believer should be to live a life pleasing God. And we should preserve that holy life rather than we get ourselves involved in the crooked world at home, in our businesses, in private, and even in public. We should live a holy life. As also Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 and 2 say, If you then rise with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God, set your affection on the things above, not on the things of this world. If your affection, your love, is of the things of this world, you will be losing your eternity. And if they even spend life on earth looking for happiness and joy, you will never have it. Did you learn anything? Do you learn anything? Do you want to be a friend of God? Do you want to be an enemy of the, cr of the cross? Do you want to be an enemy of God? If you want to be a friend of God, then let us rise up and take this prayer point. Say thanks to the living God. He's a great and wonderful father. Say, my Lord and my God, I thank you. Rise up. I love you. This time, this Easter time, thousands of years, you sacrifice yourself for me so that I can have peace, joy, so that I can make heaven. That thing where they make her, they forget that I should live with you, where they concentrate on the flesh, be it demon or my personal desire for bluff, for be proud in my life by faith. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Destroy it from your spirit, from your soul, from your body, in the name of Jesus. Every desire of worldliness, of the things of the world, any demon promoting that desire, demon in your family, in your community, promoting that desire, we arrest them, we destroy them, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your hands. Lord, I thank you for your sons and daughters. They're not come to Meresiman. They're not come to Gina Musa. Now to Jesus Christ they come. When I die for them. I die for me. I pray the spirit of the Lord Jesus. May that spirit enter into your life in the name of Jesus. May that spirit bear fruit in your life in the name of Jesus. Even so, may that spirit give, or give you gifts to be useful in his service in the name of Jesus. May God give you grace never to go back to the world. And may God give you grace to be decisive in every area of your life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once more, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah.